Okay, hello, I'm Ben Jenkins, also known as Slim Charles, uh, working on Funline 2238. I'm a developer, I guess. I uh, mostly do dialogues, but uh, today I'm talking over this video for you. And this video is about the PPC system, production, professions, and crafting. Alright, there, there's me in the wasteland. If you uh, check out my stats, you'll see tagged small guns in science and repair. So you're going to be making uh, small guns or ammunition for small guns. You're uh, using those three skills, which is why I've gone for them. There's uh, my two little sniping perks there as well, for nice having And there's a picture of me with a couple of balloons and a little drink. Alright. Okay, so, uh, the fixed boy. If you're going to be doing any kind of crafting, you'll be using fixed boy for all of it. And uh, you bring it up and it shows you everything that you can make at the time. So we've got, uh, if you've got the skills to make it, or shop here, but you need the items for actually making this stuff, which is why it's all red at the moment, because we've not got any of the right stuff. It's all uh, lovingly organised into a list that should make it fairly easy to use. It's all organised by type. You know, armour and guns and ammunition, explosives, tools, and then finally, healing items, stim packs and healing powder. And get more as you go along, as you'll soon see. Okay, to make healing powder, you need a rock flower and zander, I'm sure you already know that. The simple one, no tools, low skills, anyone can do that pretty much. Right out the door. If you want to make a 20 pieces of 10mm JHP, for example, the 20 at once, it's not, you know, I'm not being cruel here. You need a workbench to do that though. And then most of the complicated items will use a workbench as well, as the actual resources. So get used to workbenches if you're going to be doing any of that. Alright, there's my inventory. Got a rope and six pieces of gunpowder for later on, but I've also got a hammer. The first P PPC production. If you're going to be making anything from scratch, you'll be using things like hammers. It's very good to have one around because you can use them pretty much anywhere. Here you go, in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to hit some rocks with a hammer just because and some shells. And there you go, did that. What happened? I made a little bit of iron ore, eh? it's fantastic. And you, know, you can do it with a lot of stuff. You can uh, get meat out of brahmins or fruit out of plants and fibres out of different plants. There's a lot of different options. There we go. Let's try some different coloured rocks. Maybe something different will happen. Turns out it did. We got some minerals instead. It's crazy. There they are. I'm hoping that having to build stuff from scratch, having it from scars, will get people working together more. Just or any kind of interaction, maybe just sell them to someone you know, or maybe teaming up with for someone. But uh, nice interactions anyway. Okay, second piece, professions, which is why I've come down to New Reno to see Eldridge. Professions work like perks thought of, but instead of just picking one at a level up, you have to learn them from someone. In this case, Eldridge. Is because uh, he obviously knows a lot about guns, so he can teach you how to make small guns and big guns, but for a price, which is why I've had to take a big bag of caps with me. He's not the only guy. Uh, each skill you can learn has uh, up to eight guys, I think, for each uh, profession. So you don't have to talk to him if you don't like him particularly. But we're talking to him. Here you go. Here's his uh, amazingly written dialogue. We click through, tell me what I learned, tell you gotta, you know, you need the right skills, we can't learn big guns because you don't have big gun skill, but uh, we've got enough to learn the small gun skill, and he wants money, but we give him that. But, because he's, uh, he's not a horrible guy, he gives you a book as well. And, uh, you often need a reference book to make various items as you're going along, and, uh, he's nice enough to give you one so you can use that, and here you go, check it out, perks menu. Profession, gunsmith, small guns, there's a, a picture of me making some guns. Fantastic, we're now a level one gunsmith of small guns. And then I get to fix boys more items, it even scrolls onto the next list, it's amazing. And now you can do more stuff, you can do it better. 10mm JHP, we now make 22 pieces every time instead of 20. So, you know, because we're just that much better now. And also, yes, we can make a hunting rifle, and we couldn't do that before. So, loads of options for us now. Alright, now we're uh, going for the seed crafting. 
can't see maintenance shed mode up because it's basically just because it's got a workbench. Let me check my inventory out. We've got some fibers because I'm gonna chase them with them. There's the guns and ammo, the guns and bullets even that Eldridge gave me because we'll be using that as well to make it what we're gonna make. What we're gonna make. And then we've got a couple more minerals and stuff I gave myself just so I can show you what's gonna happen. Alright, obviously I've still got other stuff because I, I wanted to. Okay, so we check fixed point now. Rope is green because uh, we've got those two bits of fibre that it needs. But uh, this is still red because we're not near enough that workbench. But there is one here, as I said. So maybe in a little while, you never know. Keep watching. Okay, there's the rope. We've got the right skill, we've got the right stuff. So there we go. Click fix and tell you what happens. Get 50 experience. Hopefully, we'll be changing that so that. Uh, if you make something easy like rope, you won't care as much as if you make something complicated like a gun. That's not my department, so we'll see what happens. There you go, check it out. That rope is actually in my inventory. It wasn't just a dream, that really did happen. We really did make some rope just then. Okay, so let's walk over to this workbench. Metal parts can now be made. Two pieces of ore here. I think we should make them. Uh, yeah, I think we should. I think we should probably make them. So there we go. Make it 50 more XP so we create the item. Sure, you can understand how it's starting to work. There we are. Straight in my inventory. It's all. It's all going fantastically right now. Okay, again, skip ahead a little bit just because it was getting a little bit boring right there. So I've got some more stuff alloyed and things just so I can show you a bit more stuff now. Here's all the stuff we can currently make. Whether like new items, quite a lot, not bad. But it's all workbench stuff if we move away. Can't make any of it. What's going on? So uh, I don't know about you, I think we should probably go back to the workbench, see what happens now. Hey hey hooray, we do it all again. It's all slightly more than the baseline because we're a good one. As I said, we're a professional one. Here we go. We just we just make some bullets right then. It takes two seconds because look at the computer game. Uh, so there we are with 22 bullets in our inventory. It's the joy of PPC for you right there. Thank you. 